Hello guys, uh, have a nice day to all of you. So we have here a uh, 4G64 engine, 2.4 gasoline engine. So there is an oil indicator lamp during idling. Engine RPM at uh, 750. So once we switch on the AC system, so RPM was going up up to 900 RPM. Then the oil indicator lamp was disappear. So we are monitoring oil pressure so we will use uh, an oil pressure gauge here so that we can uh, determine the cause why oil indicator lamp on okay so this is the engine guys we are going to check the oil pressure so we will lift up the vehicle then we will use our special tools to monitor the oil pressure during idling and at uh, 3500 rpm if uh, the pressure was in the standard value okay so this is our vehicle I lift up already the vehicle then I already removed the alternate plate cover here in front so this is our oil pressure switch we will remove this harness connector then we will remove our oil pressure switch then we will install the hose of our old pressure gauge. Okay. Now we will disconnect the harness. This is easy to disconnect. Only press the clip lock of the harness, then it will go out. Okay. Now we are going to use 24 mm open rings to loosen the oil pressure switch. Okay. We put oil dispenser to avoid oil drops in the flooring. During we are removing the oil pressure switch. Okay. So this is the one, the oil pressure switch, but uh, this oil, pr oil pressure switch, I already uh, checked, but uh, it is in good condition, okay. We are going to install the oil pressure gauge, okay. We are going to tighten the oil uh, pressure gauge hose mounting. Okay. We have to 
to retight we have to tight properly to avoid the uh, oil uh, oil pressure leak here in the mounting uh, pipe okay so we already installed the uh, the hose together our oil pressure gauge so this the one we have the uh, unit here bar and kilopascal okay so we will uh, leave down the vehicle and we will start the vehicle at idling condition then we will monitor how many pressure we have in the gauge okay oil pressure check at idle 29 kilopascal or more so that's the value standard value during idling guys so we will monitor the value if we can uh, get this uh, value in our pressure gauge at idle condition then at uh, high RPM at 3500 depression per minute the standard value was 294 to 686 kilopascal during high RPM guys must be we can uh, get this value it must be this value will appear in our our oil pressure gauge okay now guys we will uh, start the engine then we will monitor the gauge of our oil pressure so that we can determine if the value we can get is in the specified value okay so we'll start the engine now okay so at idle condition we will check the gates at engine idle condition we will check the oil pressure gauge if uh, we can get the standard value so this is our gauge zero reading there's no value so it means our our oil pump is uh, at ideal condition is low pressure 3500 rp This is our case cylinder block assembly. This is include the oil pump is included inside. Okay, so this is the part number of our of our oil pump assembly. This is our liquid gasket to use for fixing the oil pump and oil pan. Okay. So this is our case cylinder block CMD. So the oil pump is already included here. So this is the one, our oil pump. Okay. So in this video episode, I will not include the tutorial for replacing this oil pump. Okay. 
And this is the oil pump gasket for the 4G64. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we finish the evaluation of our engine oil indicator as a uh, the result based on our reading in oil pressure gauge so during idling the oil pressure was low no reading at that uh, time then our after reading during 3500 rpm is about only 200 kilopascal so it not reach the standard value 294 kilopascal so i decided to replace the oil pump of our engine so that's the final evaluation we found okay so thank you for watching for our video episode for today so god bless and take care always